Captain Haynes, uh, I think, did a ma ma marvelous job of immediately putting me at ease because shortly after I was up there, he re turned around and he shook my hand. He says, hi, I'm Al Haynes. Well, that broke the ice immediately, and, and we all introduced each other to each other, and we began, now we knew each other's names. We worked together. We talked to each other in that re regime. Uh, I think his managerial skills are incredible because I don't know how many of you as pilots would surrender your throttles to a total stranger that you had never met. And he did that. He delegated that. I thought that was a supreme, a supreme managerial decision to unload himself and to put that on uh, on someone he didn't even know. United 232 Heavy, uh, say again. Where's the airport to us now as we come spinning down here? United 232 uh, Heavy, Sioux City Airport's about 12 o'clock and 3, 6 miles. Okay, we're trying to go straight. We're not having much luck. I think our, our CLR training that we had our, uh, was very effective because it put all three of us in a loop, and I'm, I'm not excluding Dudley, I'm talking about now how we handle the airplane. All four of us were working together in our communications and so forth, but naturally controlling the aircraft with the three of us, uh, the CLR gave us all talking at the same time, all planning what we're trying to do, all thinking out loud is basically what it amounted to. And I think that was a very important part of getting the airplane down as safely as we did. I like the runway. United 232 Heavy, the airport, uh, the runway is uh, 9,000 feet long, 150 foot wide. Okay, thank you. When we saw runway 22, we couldn't believe it. It was absolute uh, joy that we, there was a runway right in front of us. I just could not believe it. And although it was a closed runway and uh, an abandoned runway, it was something straight and something flat, and that's where we decided to go. And we didn't have any choice, I don't think. And uh, that's something I didn't discuss with the rest of the crew. We were about 3,000 feet, I think, when I saw it, and I said, that's it, that's where we're going. The actual approach is deceiving. Those of you who have seen it on video, it appears fast, obviously, but it seems somewhat stable. Believe me, from our perspective within, I think all four of the pilots in that cockpit would agree, it was anything but stable. And United 232 Heavy, if you can't make the airport, sir, there is an interstate that runs uh, north to south to the east side of the airport. Uh, it's a four-lane interstate. We're just passing okay. it right now. We're going to crack the airport. United 232 Heavy, roger. And I'm going to get the airport in sight. Got a runway in sight. We'll be with you very shortly. Thanks a lot for your help. The sink rate, obviously, toward the end was very high. The last recollection I have of seeing a sink rate near the runway was approximately 1,800 feet, and it seemed to be increasing. The DC-10 does not have an instantaneous vertical speed indicator. 
So it was only an indication at that time. It may have been higher.